Gardening is a favorite hobby to many throughout the year, and for those who don't have a space, the Kane Street Community Garden is the place to go to truly show off your green thumb while also getting to know your neighbors. But what preparations need to be done to get the garden ready for the blistering cold? Photographer Justin Runberg beat the snow to find out how in this week's eyepiece. You know, we have a bunch of jobs to do to kind of put the garden to bed. We planted the garlic the last Saturday of October, Jeez. and today we're mulching it. I always enjoy planting the garlic because I'm a big fan of that uh, when it's uh, harvested. And uh, it's at the, the close of the season, the fall of the year, has a little different feel to it. And of course, I like the, the product, the, uh, the great vegetables that we harvest. You ever heard of them now? I like the exercise and I like uh, the people. I think that being around uh, green greenery is uh, positive for your uh, mental health. And there's still stuff in the ground that would kind of keep harvesting. With the little bit left, we've told people come and get it. I'm not the stuff in the hoop house yet. It's not really ready. And hoop house is kind of the perfect environment for veggies. Well, it's a perfect environment for weeds too. I just love working here. It's more, we're producing local food, local organic food, which is very important. And then also we're doing it together. Like it's, it's not just, just one farmer out by themselves. That's what's really fun about it. Meet a lot of nice people. And uh, it's just a, like a true community project. And the garden isn't quite fully out of commission yet with spinach still growing for this Thanksgiving season.